Okay, so I'm going to try to do a review over this third grade science book. It is God's Creation Series, Exploring God's Creation by, I guess, Jeffrey Garvey. And it is um, for third grade. Well, you can't see that. Anyway, it's um, published by Christian Liberty Press. Sorry, Christian Liberty Press. Okay, so the God's Creation series is designed to give young students a greater understanding of and appreciation for the handiwork of Almighty God. This book has the following special features. Interesting facts to engage the minds of students. Can you hear the thunder? <laughs> Colorful Im images to stimulate a greater understanding of scientific concepts. Helpful review questions for each chapter. And then hands-on experiments and activities. Okay. This book is around 1275. Um, I don't, I don't even know if there's a teacher's guide or not. I'm not even sure. If there is, I don't have it. Uh, we just use this. Okay. So this book that I have was copyrighted 1992 by Christian Liberty Press. So here are the contents. Unit 1 is about physics and chemistry. So it talks about machines, solid, liquid, gas, things joined to make new things, metals, liquids, magnetism, fire and heat, and electricity. Unit 2 is over geology and botany. So it talks about minerals, volcanoes, mountains, rivers, river valleys, sediment and erosion, plants growing, plants like light, and the cycles of life. Unit 3 is over astronomy and weather. It talks about the sun, earth, stars, moon, clouds, seasons, weather, and climate. Unit 4 is over biology and health. It um, goes over if something is an animal or not. It talks about the different kinds of animals, mammals and birds, insects, fish, germs, and nutrition. And then it has the answers to some of the questions. Okay, you'll see in each unit there it starts off with a focus. Okay, yeah. so here is the focus. So here's unit one, and the focus is the mystery of God's world. So in the blue writing here, um, this, I believe, is some information like to the teacher. Okay, and it has a Bible verse and a nice picture. So something like this is at the beginning of each unit. And um, here's some more of the focus. It kind of tells you what, the focus tells you what that unit is going to be focusing on. <laughs> okay, so, you know, things that God made and things man made. You know, you color different colors. All right, chapter one is over machines here. And it gives some words in bold print. You know, a car is not a simple machine. A seesaw is a simple machine. So the child is to, um, you know, cross out or circle what is or is not a simple machine. I bet you heard that thunder. <laughs> okay. I hope the lighting isn't too bad. It's really, really cloudy outside. All right. See the rain? <laughs> okay. So learning about God's world and it tells you things you're going to need. So this is an experiment that you're going to set up, and this book, it gives an actual picture of real kids setting up this experiment. Okay? And here's another experiment that you'll need. And it gives a picture of a kid that had set up that one. It talks about safety first. Some more. And then this, it's like some, you know, little extra information here. Then it moves on to chapter two, solid, liquid, and gas. So each page of the chapter is learning through experiments, basically. There's always an experiment to do. All right, this one here is like over condensation. See this kid's holding up a cookie sheet? Over steam. Alright. 
know, there's um, liquid, solid, and gas. <clears throat> Talking about how water changes from one form to another. How to make new things. You take um, different, you take rice and a couple different food colorings. And you have, you color some rice red, you color some yellow, and you have, you know, two things there. And then you can mix them and it turns orange. So you have something new. And this is um, another experiment. Oh, this is the one, I believe. Yes. So here you have, um, you'll be doing vinegar and baking soda, and we all know what that does. Some chemical reactions there. And this one's over metal. You can see it's another experiment. It tells you to use a piece of chalk a ruler, and a metal spoon, you know. So it kind of talks about um, which which thing you hold uh, gets hotter quicker, you know, so it helps with um, conductors of heat there. Here's some more. It's about friction. Some liquids. Magnetism. Making a magnet, fire and heat. This one was a really neat experiment. My girls really, they really liked that one. And they liked the static one too, for electricity. We could not get this one to work. We don't know why. Anyway, maybe our oranges didn't have enough acid in them. Just a second. All right, sorry about that. So, as I was saying, um, we done this experiment, but it it didn't work. <laughs> not for us. I'm not sure why, but we couldn't get it to work. Okay. Then they get some field trip ideas. All right. Now that was the end of unit one. So here is a review for Unit 1. And here's a Unit 1 checkout. Okay, so some questions that the kids need to answer. And then it starts with, then it goes on to Unit 2, The Beauty of God's World. And so here's some information about, guess what you're going to be learning, um, a picture, some scripture, And the focus of the lesson's about, well, that's like to get the kid ready. And then chapter 9's on minerals. And give some pictures of different products we use that are minerals, like salt and baking soda and baby powder and uh, petroleum, bethylene. Some geology labs. And different kinds of rocks. And here's another experiment. Some things you'll need. And a chart to record your observations on. Chapter 10 is over volcanoes. So it talks about volcanoes. Gives a couple pictures of a volcano. Okay, and then some more information. You know, volcano eruptions. Here's an experiment, some things you'll need, some mountains. Okay, so now I'm just going to flip through here, flip through some pages. And you can see, you know, it's just experiment, experiment, with pictures, um, some review questions. a link to this in the description box below. So we used most of this book, but we did not we did not finish it. Neither one of my children finished it. Um let's see my oldest, when she was in second grade, she used some of these lessons. 
And then my youngest, she just finished second grade, and she had finished her science curriculum early, so I pulled this one out, and we done about half of this, and then school was over. So, yeah. Anyway, so I am no longer needing this, and i got to get rid of it. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. Almost there. Here's Unit 4 Review and Unit 4 Checkout. Then in the back, it has all the answers. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.